The Paper Rips pack features over 60 unique textures with paper effects, scratch marks, and even folding effects all made by hand and scanned in to the computer at 1200 DPI. They're really great for video, photo, or even graphic design. Um, one of my favorite uses for them is just adding them at a super fast pace into video, and it gives that that really scrapbook kind of feel to your video footage. You can also keyframe them into your into the individual um, paper rips and use different videos on each rip in your, your final project. However you wanna do it, there's tons of way to use them. To, so today I'm gonna to show you how to use them a little bit in Premiere Pro and in Photoshop. So let's just go ahead and get into it. All right, so to get started, you're gonna to wanna to open up Premiere Pro and I usually like to start by just bringing in all of the paper rips. And what I'll do is just pick one individual one that I really like. If I'm going to be using a ton at once, then I'll kind of just reset their time duration. But for this one, I want to start with kind of like an intro sequence where one paper or one video comes in at the bottom left, one comes in at the bottom right after it, and then one at the top right after that, and then at the top left after that. Kind of like a little um, just animated paper collage. And we're going to do this by just getting all of our clips prepared and then you're going to need to mask out both the paper turn, the paper rip and also the, the video itself. As you can see, basically what I'm doing is just resizing each video to fit in the frame of each corner um, that it's going to be in. After that, I usually like to mask out the paper rip. Um, I don't do it too precise on the first go around. Usually I will kind of just get the edge there and then after the edge is actually there, I'll just readjust the points to make it more um, perfect after that. And for the video footage underneath the paper rip, you don't have to actually get it too, too perfect. Um, just make sure it's behind the white line where you're masking out. And obviously once you do it, play the footage back a little bit, see if it looks wonky. For this one, I had to like stretch the, the paper rip a little extra to make it look like it was all actually together. So that's something you want to make sure of. Don't make it like cut, have, like, cut super sharp edges or anything like that because it's just not going to look realistic. And this is one of my favorite uh, ways to use the collage pack because it's just a really good transitional piece. Um, you can do this for intros, outros, mid-sequences, or anything like that. So definitely keep this one in your back pocket. This is one of my favorites.